Now that you're familiar with all template concepts and template library, it's time to finally create our first template. And I will first show you how to create your website header template, and then we will create a very simple website photo template. I'm already here in my WordPress dashboard, and then under Bricks Templates, you can just click Add New. And we need to give our template a name. I'm just going to call it My First Header. And I want to make sure that I also set the template type because this is actually required. All right, this report is going to be our header template and then we can just save it as a draft. We don't want to publish it yet because it's still empty. Click on edit with bricks, loads up our builder. And now we can start dragging and dropping our header elements in here. I want to add two elements. I will add a logo to top left and a navigation menu on our um, the very right hand side and by default it shows you this logo text most likely you want to replace this with your logo image and then you can scroll down to adjust your logo size 40 pixel should be fine and then we will look for our nav menu just drag and drop it in here and now we need to align our elements and there are two ways to accomplish what we need in this case so like I said I want to have my navigation menu on the right hand side what I can do solution number one would be to edit our column and then under layout we can adjust our element alignment so alignment along main axis because this is our main axis right this um, everything is aligned horizontally here and we want to have some space between. This basically pushes our first element to the left and our second element here to the very right. Another way to do this would be to edit the element that you want to fully align and then under style layout we can just customize our margin. So to push this to the very right, I can just set my margin right to zero and it will move to the right hand side. And that's it. We already aligned our header elements. Next up would be to adjust our nav menu. And first thing I want to fix is my space in between here. Those are my top level menu items. So I'm going to open this control group. I, you can see margin right is set to 30. We actually want to have this margin left 30. So spacing is on the left hand side of each menu item. Looks good. And now it's time to play around with our typography, maybe increase the font size, some level spacing. Oops, that was a bit too much. And it looks good. Then if you have sub-menu items, you can customize um, the styling here. This element actually, um, this navigation menu it doesn't have any sub-menu items. And if you open up the first um, menu group here, you could actually also select any other navigation menu. But in my case, it's just I'm using this um, header because that's the only one that we defined. You can just click here, it brings you into your um, WordPress dashboard and you can see here we only have this one header. So that's what Briggs picks up. If you define, a, if you would create a new menu here, a second header, it would show up um, right underneath here. All right, so another setting that I quickly want to show you, you can set the um, mobile menu toggle. So on mobile, if you switch to your mobile preview, you can see that it shows you now this little hamburger menu icon, right? But what you can also do if you're in navigation menu, you can just say, do you want to show this on mobile? Like in my case, by default, it's said to be, you want to see this on mobile. And you can say you always want to see it. So in that case, even on desktop, it will show my hamburger menu. Or you can set this to never. So your navigation menu, the actual menu items will always show also on mobile. Most likely, you don't want to use this if you have uh, maybe just two or three uh, menu items. It can be OK. Otherwise, it would just probably um, 
result in a line break and you have multiple uh, your navigation menu spanning over multiple lines um, which doesn't look very good so we're gonna set this back to our default which is show this on mobile and at the very bottom you can see this mobile menu if you open this control group it will show you the mobile menu that you would see if you click this handbook menu item on a mobile device. So by default, it's using this off canvas layout. Um, you can adjust um, a lot of settings down here, but you can also choose an overlay layout, which is what I'm going to use in this case. And maybe let's change our background to an image. Now we need to adjust our um, background image with some filters because the text is not really readable, we can reduce our brightness and maybe also increase our maybe typography because this is a little bit too small. Um, so let's just change this to 40 and then this little close icon here also needs some adjustment. So we can just use a bit make this much better. And then we can just um, close this again and now you can see we are basically done with our header menu. Okay, let's just save this in between. Like I like to always save manually. That's why like, once I've completed the step, I'm happy with the result. I'm just gonna hit save. And there are some more settings when it comes to your header templates and you can find them under settings and then template settings. You can see here I have this um, header control group. Like if you're editing a website photo or a content template, you will not see this. This is specific only for your website header because it's a special kind of um, template. So for example, you can, by default, your header obviously shows at the very top. You can also show it on the right hand side, left hand side. You can position it absolutely. So it will just um, position at the top. But if you scroll down, it will not scroll down with your page content. If you want to accomplish this, this is called a so-called sticky header. We can set it here, but you wouldn't really see very much because um, we don't have any content here. And this we're actually going to fix in a minute by populating our content area here. Let's just maybe do this right now. So, like I said, um, this is an empty uh, canvas in the very beginning when you create a new template, but Especially when editing your header, if you want to have a sticky header, you might. You, it's very helpful to actually see some content in here. So what you can do, you can just, like I said, click on settings, template settings, and then you can populate your content. It also shows you a little description here, what this is all about. And there are different kinds of contents. Um, in my case, what I want to show here is my homepage. So I'm going to select single post page, search for my homepage, and then I need to um, apply this preview. Click it, it's gonna save your header template, it reloaded, and now you can see that I have my content in here, right? And my header is on the very top. You can also now see, if I hover over this, I have this little header settings and label. So if you click this, it also brings you straight to your template settings. One more thing um, that you have in here are the template um, conditions. So where you can tell Briggs where you want to show uh, this template. By default, because this is a header template, Briggs will show this on your entire website. You can see this here in your templates. Um, once you publish this, Briggs will automatically go through according to the template type. It will tell you, look, this is a header template. You probably only have one of these templates on your website. I'm going to show this by default on all your pages. So if we publish this, for example, now, I can also reload it. You will see the slug will change here. And if I reload this page, you can now see by default it's loading this header template on your entire website. And this sort of behavior we discussed before, we can disable this just by going to settings, templates, and then enable this. Use this checkbox to disable default templates. So in that case, if you disable default templates, you need to make sure that you set your template conditions here. 
you just want to show you how to template on a specific or specific post type or anything else really or just your front page um, that's the way to do it but I am going to keep this enabled I want to use the default um, templates so no need to set any condition here and that is pretty much everything we need to do for our header you can also see here um, this little info box that tells you that default templates are enabled and the template conditions precede default templates. So you can just also click this link, it also brings you into um, your settings. Okay, so this is everything you need to know how to create a website header. Now, next up would be our website footer. And we can do this from the right because we're already in the builder. Let's just um, within the builder clicking our little uh, template icon here and then this plus icon to create a new template and we're just going to call this my first footer template type this is our website footer a bundle we could select because we have one but it's not mandatory so we just click create and you can see now here have my newly created template and we just can click on edit and you can see now at the top we have our header we don't have any content here, so we're just gonna fix that first because I definitely want to see how my, oh, let's just, um, we can also do it later. Let's just uh, maybe keep this um, a little bit cleaner. And what am I gonna use here? Maybe just some social icons. So I'm gonna drag them in here. And then of course I need to adjust my styling. You can also add more icons here. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, yeah, no, that's actually enough. And then I want to actually want to make this a dark section, right? So I'm gonna change my background color to something dark, and then I also want to stretch this over the entire. width so I'm just going to set this to full width section and now I can edit my element here first thing um, I don't want to have this background color here um, what I can do I can just delete it individually or I can just override it by setting my background color here and just make it transparent I would usually just go with deleting this background color in this case. And then I also want to move this to the center. So I'm going to align it centered. Maybe also increase my font size. It's not supposed to be very pretty. I just want to quickly show you how you can create your website photo and how it's going to show up on your website. Next up, we can. Populate our content just to see how it looks like. Again, we're going to use our home page. Click apply. It's going to save. And now you can see we have our header. We've got our preview here and we have got our website photo. And that's within, I think, 10 minutes. You can create your website header and photo with bricks.